<laughs> I don't know if I can fit. Ay. Hey, can you explain where we are? So we're day two and we are at the Moses Trail parking. So we wanted, we got up early this morning, just drove up here and figured we'll have our breakfast here. Why not? Yep, and they have nice so, restrooms, flush restrooms mm -hmm, up there. Very nice. So we took advantage of that. And now we're making coffee and... And since, because the parking spaces are limited, so there's yeah. only this many. What, I don't know how many that is, 12 to 14? Yeah. And so we got the very first one and we can sit here and eat our breakfast and take our time. Yep. And our hike is not too long today, maybe five miles. Six miles. And then breakfast and at then, the Champions, oatmeal and warm up. So. And then, then also, of course, the most important thing, coffee. <laughs> All the comforts of home. Very nice sleep last night. Folger session. Mm-hmm. And uh, we, we watched uh, a, a, vid a video about the Tour de France and then read a little bit and then went to sleep. Yep. Everybody's kind of got the same idea and the, the cars are starting to arrive here. But we beat everybody. And now, twinsies! <laughs> we have the same jackets. <laughs> These are our... Seattle to Portland uh, freebies or freebies that they gave us. Um, Free giveaway yeah. Tyvex uh, windbreaker In jackets. 2013. Yeah. 10 years old. That's, that's, Look at that, that. I thought that had been a long time. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go to the trailhead. Hi. There's some signs. We took some photos. I'll put a photo of the uh, map closer up in the corner, and we're going. Here we start. Day two, Pinnacles, and we're gonna do the Moses Spring Trail. Rim Trail, we're, well, actually we're gonna do High Peaks. Yesterday we did Bear Gulch, if you remember. We're gonna do High Peaks and just kind of keep to the right on that all the way. And then what's the, what's? I told you get started before. <clears throat> I'm already waiting. <laughs> Man, she's feisty this morning. Because she's got her poles, that's why. She's really ready to go. Okay, I better, do less filming and more hiking. Oh no. Lily forgot to put deodorant on. Is that why all the flowers are wilting and the Come on. the woodland creatures all scurried away? This is called Triangle Rock. I just named it that. It's mm -hmm. like just, it's defying gravity. We're sad to report today the Garden Grove man was killed by a falling rock because he lingered too long below a precariously positioned stone. People told him not to stand there, but he did anyway and got squished. Reporting live. Did you see this rock here? <laughs> oh, and there's like, you can hear it down there. Oh my God, I almost, I almost slipped and fell down that crevasse. That's cool. Our trail is just switchbacking, kind of up one and down the other. We've been doing that for the past five minutes and we've really made some altitude. I thought this was kind of clever. This is a climbing. Well, this whole area is really big with climbers, you know, rock climbers, not us, but there's a lot of young people that are adrenaline junkies with the ropes and things. And this was, a, I thought it was a pretty clever tourist trap. Climbing access to the top. I guess you go down there and then you, this is your rock face that you're gonna climb, which uh, I thought was pretty cool here. Let me zoom out a bit. And that's the rock that they could play around all day on, right? Mm -hmm. So 
So are you gonna do rock climbing, babe? Are you gonna climb to the top of that rock? Nope. With no ropes, just free climb it? Nope. Like that guy that free climbed Half Dome. Nope. You could do it. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'll watch somebody do it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not me either. There's a broken tree that goes right over the top. Okay, so babe, I want you to go stand right. Keep going. Keep going, okay, stop right there. <laughs> and I'm gonna push on the tree and we'll see if, uh, no, that's not nice. <laughs> but it does look like, I know it does look like uh, it, it, you hear a large crack at any moment and it's just gonna come right down on somebody's head. Hopefully not me. Okay, so what we've discovered <clears throat> is that if they have a sign that has a picture of a little carabiner, that's for the climbers. Look at this. This is like a, if you want to like defy gravity. Yeah, I do it, but you know, I don't want to show off or anything. I don't want to make everybody look bad. So maybe another time. I think our stomach will stop us from going <laughs> Probably. Oh, you can see the like light mist off in the valley. That's really pretty. Babe, you know, I'm getting tired of waiting for you all the time. You're really gonna have to pick up the pace. I figured that's what you were trying to do. <laughs> At I'm, least you can say that you were ahead of me one time. <laughs> I was. I was ahead of you. Yep. Uh -huh. But you had to ask me to stay. <laughs> <laughs> I had to say stop. Stop down there. I don't think anybody's going to buy that I was ahead and waiting for you. I don't, I don't think that's going to hold water with anybody. Oh, that's a great view right there. Those are the pinnacles. Look at this. It's flipping me off. Flipping me the bird. <laughs> okay, so here we have, what, what are we seeing, babe? I don't know. More pinnacles? I think this is the Jedi stronghold on Tatooine. Look at this. Lava flow. Is that like a lava flow right there? I mean, probably from millions of years ago. Just curving as it's cooling. You know, sometimes in life, it's good to ponder our smallness in comparison to the universe. Wave. <laughs> Lily's supposed to be out there somewhere. Oh, there. Okay, now I'm really far behind. <laughs> I better go. And an arch, not really a cave, not like an arch, but pretty neat. So we're just doing some switchbacks. I think this might be the last climb, hopefully. And that's, that's the cave that we were just at. Well, I don't know, it's not really a cave. Arch. Arch, I don't know what to call it. Okay, for those of you that are in the Southwest, this is a common site. This is the uh, skunk of the bug world, a stink bug. And if you bother him, he sticks his butt up in the air and threatens to squirt you. Okay, so from day one, we went to the dam and reservoir, and that's it. Okay, so we're coming up on, I think, the top of the ridge. And I think there's bathrooms there. 
which is nice. So that was the trek that we did a couple of years ago. Oh, okay. Trek yeah. seven, 1217. Yep. Okay. And we did it by, by the map. It said we were supposed to do 68 miles, but by GPS, we did 135. Okay. Uh, we climbed to Mount Baldy, uh, which is on the on the ranch, which is 12.6. Okay. Uh, and uh, we covered about 15,000 vertical feet. We, we went a couple of, over a couple of ridge lines uh, with uh, the Boy Scouts. Okay. And uh, it was and, a fantastic trip. So and is that what you're training for today? I'm doing, I'm doing another okay. one with uh, with some of the same crew and some new nice some new joiners. So nice. uh, we hit the trail on Fourth of July. Perfect. So this is uh, this is our final training hike. If, if we're not ready by now, we're not ready. <laughs> and what was your first name? I'm Pat. Pat. Nice to meet you, Pat. Nice to meet you. So we're kind of at the top, and it, you know, this plastic box with the lid on it. And inside is this book. And you sign and you write a little message and uh, then you put it back. Which I think it's pretty neat. Okay, so I'm going to show you a picture of where I think we are on the map. And then if you see up here, the, the trail comes down and around and around and then goes to that parking lot, which we are debating whether that's the parking lot where we're parked or it's a different one. Mm -hmm. Narrow, steep and narrow section. That's what they were talking about, yep. <laughs> and I am standing like on a precarious little clump of dirt. Oh, I can't do this. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, that was pretty bad. Come on, there's more steps to do. Oh my. Oh, I didn't even see that. Really? Okay. Yeah, exactly. We're exactly. talking to Tracy on the phone. So, Scott and his camera. And we're talking to Tracy on the phone. Can you believe we get signal? Yeah. We yep. 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 Wait. She just went to the left there. And it's kind of a dead end, and I was just waiting for her to to oh, come to that realization. And now the re realization that it's really steep and lots of steps. So just put one foot in front of the other, babe. Ready? Yes. Proceed. It's straight up. It's like climbing a ladder. Okay. Good. 
Well, you gotta be careful with your foot placement. Oh man, look at this. <laughs> I don't know if I can fit. Ay. I'm having to lean way over. The wall is like... Ay. Oh, I just hit my head. I'm going to switch. I get these steps. Okay, now how do I get down from here? Maybe like sideways. Sideways seems to work good. Crab crawl. I got the view. More stairs, let's go. <laughs> oh no, more stairs? Yes. You gotta be kidding me. This is bordering on torture. Oh, it's really fun. Oh my God, this is straight down. switch hands with the with the pole so I can right hand pole left hand railing okay they probably had a lot of people just completely take a header off of here and they're like you know we should cut some steps and put a railing and because <laughs> oh, that's not actually that bad. That works really good. The steps are nice and spaced and just, you know, work your way down it just like you would stairs or something. Okay. This is really cool. This is like the fun part of this trail, huh? There's a big root. Oh, from this tree, probably. Boy, that tree's got a rough existence. That one. <laughs> oh, hold on. Oh. That's neat. Then it comes out here. Down here. <laughs> and it water flows and it's just eating it away and at some point this big boulder here is going to come down and I just hope I'm not there and it happens <laughs> okay. okay this way all right Thank you.
the problem. Always Which the wall? Oh, look at this tree. How's the, oh, great. Area via tunnel trail, bear gulch. All right, so we figured out where to go. This tunnel trail, which sounds pretty cool, tunnels, I like tunnels. We're gonna do that tomorrow. That's day three. We're actually going to be coming up this and we will come up this and we'll repeat this one little section up here. Um, but we're right now we're going to head onto Bear Gulch Trail to Condor Gulch. And uh, I was looking on the map and we haven't made a lot of progress. I was like, oh, this is, you know, we're, we're really Making a lot of, well, it's been so steep and slow going, I think, that you look on the map and it's like, oh, the last hour we've hardly gone anything. But I think that's because of the nature of the trail. But slow and steady, we will get there. Now we're descending back down into the valley. That's balconies right there. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That is, does look like the picture that I saw in the brochure, huh? Yeah. I think they took that picture right here. That's amazing. And the trail, we're gonna do that tomorrow. That trail that you see down there. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do that tomorrow. Okay. So I think we see pinnacles. I have pinnacles. I think this is what they're talking about. Babe, I think that's enough. That's enough. It's too high. I need yeah, don't. Come on. How are you going to get down that? Okay, go, babe. We're gonna have our peanut butter and banana sandwich. Sorry, there's, oh, a, there's a bug just eating me alive. Leave me alone. So we're at the Condor Viewing Area. Condor Gulch Viewpoint. Okay. And uh, Scott says there are no condors because they're all out. Mm -hmm. They're doing the chores and yes. they're out so, clocking in to their jobs. Down below they have those little, um, little ponds. Uh -huh. So there's, uh, Ashley's been wanting to do it. There's a seven teacups hike somewhere in Northern California. I think it's uh, around the Sierra Nevadas. Okay. And it's uh, seven, seven little teacups like that. Hmm. So you're okay. hiking alongside it. And I don't know, I think you can even probably get in the water and then go to the next Sounds like a lot of fun. This is our trail back down to the road and parking lot. Yep. And that was cool. The seven teacups. Seven teacups. Okay, we'll have to do that sometime. Yes. Okay, I think we have a diamond back here. Don't, don't get too close. Scott, Scott. No, that's not. Stop. See, his head is too small. I think what, this is like a mock rattlesnake. He has the markings, but his head is too small to like bite with the big jaws and stuff. And he has no rattle. 
right there. You guys know where I So this is a harmless snake, but it doesn't uh, prevent Lily from freaking out. Here, I'll show. This is Lily freaking out. <laughs> do like your, <laughs> do your freak out dance. And back up. You do the ooh and the back up. Ooh and the back up. <laughs> ooh and the back up. Well, I, what it's is that? You. <laughs> what is that adage that the snake is probably more afraid of you? Whatever. Now I don't know if that holds water because this snake does not seem to be very perturbed at anything. What? What am I? Am I keeping it? Bye, buddy. See ya. That's cool. What a beautiful animal. Okay. Another freak out moment. That thing's huge. <laughs> it's fat. It's just a lizard. I'm on last one. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Lily had another freak out moment. <laughs> I think this one was more scared of you, babe, than you are of it. That one looked more frightened. And then we had a long discussion. Do sh do snakes do sh shakes do snakes um, shed or molt? And what is the difference between shedding and molting? So I have to Google that when I get to civilization. Here we are, coming back into the campground after a wonderful day hike. Met a lot of nice people and talked to just about everybody. <laughs> hard to pass somebody and not say hi or talk to them a little bit. That's turning out to be like a crazy. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, it's fun. They're interesting. Interviewing everybody. I know. What's your deal? What's your deal? What's your deal? Hey, what's your deal? <laughs> hey, there's our little van. We had a wonderful day here in Pinnacles, day two. Please watch day three. Okay, so we still have this entire area to ourselves. <laughs> we had the van parked here last night, but we reconfigured it to park it here. And we have our new carpeting down there. It's actually a plastic mat. And then the showers are broken up at the, uh, at the office, what do you call that? Camping office. So we are going to use our shower for the first time. I bought this little wooden thing you can stand on. You put it around there. I turned on the water heater and we have a hose that you can wash up, soap up and rinse off. And that's gonna feel so good because I haven't taken a shower in two days. I've been hiking for two days and I stink. <laughs> About to take our first shower. <laughs>